Hi everybody, it's Don and this is Don Does Stuff. Today I'm gonna to show you how to put a glowing outline on any picture. So if you're doing thumbnails for YouTube or if you're just doing some photo editing and you wanna make something pop a little bit more, I'm gonna show you how to do that today. Step number one, get an image. I got this one from Pixabay. It's uh, basically a repository for royalty-free images. I picked a penguin today because I don't know. I liked it. It looks interesting. And it's got a bit of um, contrast between the foreground and the background, which makes it a little bit easier to outline. Okay, so once you've got the image opened in PaintShop Pro, you're just going to right-click on the layer and duplicate it. This duplicated layer is where we're going to isolate the penguin from the background and create our glow underneath it. To isolate the penguin, you're going to need to use some form of selection tool to basically run around the contours of the penguin and delete the background. Sometimes you can do it if the contrast is different between the foreground and the background or different enough. You can do a magic hand selection where basically it'll just automatically differentiate between the two. But because this image shares tones with the background, you can't do that. And it's easier just to run around the contours and create that isolation manually. I'm just going to fast forward through that part because it takes a few minutes. Once you've got the object isolated, you can see when you select both of these layers that there's no differentiation between the two. You can't tell, you can't tell where the boundary is. The next thing you need to do is select the penguin. Now the easiest way to do that on the foreground layer is simply to magic wand select the negative space around it, so the blank space, and then click on selections and click on invert. And basically that will get you the penguin. If you try to magic select or magic wand select the penguin, it'll probably differentiate between the white and black and the different tones. And so you'll only get part of it. So it's easier to do it the other way. Once again, you're going to duplicate the layer. You're going to move the new layer underneath the foreground because you want the isolated object in front of whatever you're going to outline. And then you're going to delete the penguin or the object, whatever object you choose. You're going to delete that from that middle layer from the sort of, I guess you could say the outline layer that we've just created. So the outline layer should be blank except for the dotted line showing the selection that you have made. If you click on selections and then modify and then expand, you can select the number of pixels you want the selection to expand beyond the original boundaries. So usually it's somewhere between four and 10. I'll go with eight here. As you can see in the foreground layer, the selection is now outside the bounds of the original object. Go back to the outline layer that you've created and paint the interior of the selection whatever color you want your outline to be. So it could be white, it could be orange, it could be gray, whatever it is that you want, black, green, yellow, purple, whatever. Now if you enable visibility for all of the layers, you can actually see your completed outline. You've got your penguin in the foreground, you've got your white outline in the middle, and then you've got your background basically unchanged. There's one last thing I wanna show you, and that is how to blur the distinction between the outline itself and the background. So sometimes you get a bit of a glow effect on thumbnails that you see. And the easiest way to do that is to go to adjust, blur, and select Gaussian Blur. And what that will do, you pick the number of pixels you want it to go in, and basically it will alter the opacity of the exterior of your selection, or the exterior of your outline, and let the background show through a little bit. And that's it, you're done. You can save it as a PNG or JPEG or whatever it is, it'll flatten automatically and you're good to go. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video, learned something uh, interesting. If you liked it, please, um, Leave a comment or give me a thumbs up. 
If you want to see more from me, please hit the notification bell so you get uh, notifications anytime I upload new, new stuff. And with that, I will say thank you very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.